Say hello. What are you eating? What are you having for dinner? What is that? Spaghetti? Can you guys tell that it's bath night? I only usually give him messy snack or meals like Raspberry. spaghetti. Raspberries. Raspberries if it's bath night. <laughs> and it is bath night. Can you say hi, Porter? Say hi. <laughs> I have Porter here and obviously Grayson's eating dinner at the um, high chair and I wanted to document a couple things. So tomorrow, Porter turns six months old. Tomorrow. I cannot believe that he will be half a year old tomorrow. It just is crazy. Also tomorrow is daylight savings time, which means we spring forward an hour. It's gonna be a little crazy because kids never do well with the time change and usually it takes about a week to adjust and now I have two kids adjusting to the time change. So I'm not looking forward to that. Falling back in the fall when we go back an hour is always way easier than when we go forward an hour. I think I'm just gonna like set my timer for like 7.30 where, when the kids usually get up and then just try to get them on track through there. I know it's gonna take a while, but I'm hoping that the transition isn't too bad. Also, another thing, so since Porter's turning six months old tomorrow, I'm gonna start him on um, baby food, um, and so I'm gonna be feeding him a lot more often instead of just the one um, baby cereal a day. And so, because of that, I am kicking Grayson out of the high chair. So today is March 13th. Grayson is less than a month away from being three and he is still in his high chair. He will not leave it. And so this is the last meal, the last time he will sit in this high chair, hopefully. I tried to kick Grayson out of that high chair when I did potty training and I had him, you saw in the, my vlogs, I had him sit at our counter in the kitchen and he did that fine for a couple days and then he would not do it and refused to eat unless he was sitting in his high chair. Like he likes the high chair. So I just put him back in the high chair cause I'm like, whatever, I mean, it keeps him still, he can't move out of it so that's been nice but like it's time Porter needs to take that over now Gray doesn't need a high chair anymore he's a big boy now so I'm quit kicking him out he's not gonna be happy about it if he really puts up a lot of fuss my parents have a little chair that you just like hook onto it's like a booster that you put on a chair and then you like clip it onto it so i will use that if grayson really fights me on it um i'm hoping he won't but uh but we will see so lots of changes coming um the time change i don't really have a choice or a say over i honestly wish we didn't have the time change anymore um but i guess i don't really have a choice. Um, let me know down below any of your tips or tricks um, to deal with time change with little kids. I've heard like, oh, you should start like a week before and like slowly like changing their bedtimes and wake times and stuff. Yeah, I haven't done any of that. I always say like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do that and then I never do it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go cold turkey. We're just gonna do what we do. I mean, we gotta adjust to it eventually. It'll be nice because the days will be longer, more sunny, and that'll be great. But for now, like, adjusting won't be fun. Anyway, I just wanted to document a couple of those things. It's the weekend, so Anthony's gone again. Boo! So, we're just eating dinner, and then we're gonna play, and then we're gonna have bath time. Happy half birthday to you. Happy half birthday to you. Happy half birthday, dear Porter. Happy half birthday to you. <laughs> You're six months old. <gasps> Yay, Porter. Hi, good morning. Gotta do your photo shoot. Yeah, hi, Baba. So cute. Okay, so it's the next day. 
I was gonna record more last night and then I just didn't. <laughs> so it's the next day and we're having breakfast and Grayson is sitting on his big boy chair at the big boy table. There were some tears this morning because he wanted to sit in my chair. In the big boy table. That's right, but I told him, no, you're a big boy now. So now you sit at the big boy table on your big boy chair. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, you're sitting in the big boy chair. So, yes, you're having waffles with syrup and a banana and some milk. Yum. I had to get him a new um, sippy cup because his old one, he bit off the straw. <laughs> so I got him a new one. Um, I tried using one of those like 360 cups where it's supposed to teach you how to learn to drink from a cup and he hated it. Yummy, so I'm sticking with the straw for now. Yum! Such a big boy! So yes, he's gonna eat at the table from now on and Porter will now get the high chair for meals. I guess technically Greg could have sat here this morning because I'll just feed Porter like for lunch and dinner but I didn't want like stuff on the tray that Porter could get dirty with. So we're just gonna start off the day at the table. He was very sad, like I said, he did not want to get down from the high chair. You know, it's toddlers, they're just used to a routine. They don't like it when you break up their routine, so. Also, please excuse my appearance. It is the day of daylight savings, the day after daylight savings, I don't know what you want to call it. And so we're up an hour earlier, um, and luckily for me, both boys were awake, or an hour earlier like they needed to be. Hopefully today will go off okay. Um, it's 8.15, but technically like 7.15 if we were here yesterday. I think things are going okay so far. I've got little Porter and his little bouncer. He's my little six month old today. We're gonna do a photo shoot. Right? And he's gonna have his first taste of baby food today, so we're excited, huh? He doesn't even know what's coming. He still doesn't really bounce in this thing. That's okay. Yeah, you kind of got it. Yeah. So we're surviving so far. Um, we'll see how nap times go and bedtime and stuff. But thankfully I have a really great toddler who doesn't matter what time I put him down for bed, if he's not tired, he'll just play in his room quietly until he falls asleep. So I know I have it really lucky. Um, we do have a lock on his door just so that he doesn't get out and get into who knows what around the house when we're not watching him. I don't have to worry about him leaving. And we also have one of those clocks where it's like red and green. It tells you when to get up. So now I just need to go around and reset all my clocks. <laughs> I hope you're all surviving if you have kids with daylight savings. It stinks. <laughs> so we just finished taking Porter's pictures, so I'll input those here. He did so good, I even got gray to take a picture with Porter. I had to bribe Grayson with a piece of candy, um, but he did say, I don't think I got that great of a picture. We got that done. Um, I need to make a post on Facebook about it. Um, I am getting Porter's cereal ready, his baby cereal. I am going to attempt to feed him in the high chair for the first time, sorry. Grayson is obsessed with this Caterpillar song from the Wonder Pets, and it is the most annoying song I've ever heard in my life. So I'm sorry you have to listen to it too. But I'm gonna attempt to feed him in this high chair. Now that I've moved Grayson out of it, just keeping on with our day, trying to keep busy. I'm gonna feed Gray lunch, and then I think we'll go outside for a little bit. It's supposed to get like mid 50s here. It's 49 right now. So Porter took his first nap. He only slept for an hour. I think that's just kind of what I'm gonna be getting with this whole time change, because instead of taking his usual nap at 9.30, According to him, it was like 8.30 because he's not used to the time change yet, so 
I think that's why he took a short nap. He also takes a lot of short naps in the mornings. I don't know why. And then he'll take like a short nap in the morning and then he'll take like a longer nap in the evening or in the afternoon, I guess. So um, we'll see how today goes, but I need to get the boys outside and get them tired for nap time. <laughs> so that's my plan. Okay, Porter is six months old. Obviously he's got his sticker on and this is his first time in the high chair. <gasps> Porter, you're looking so big. I'm about to feed him some baby cereal for his lunch. I can't believe how big you are, Porter. Wow, what do you think, Gray? Porter's in the high chair. Why, Porter? Okay, it's finally time. We are gonna feed Porter his first baby food, which is green beans, and he is excited. I've got Grayson, I give him some ice cream to keep him occupied. <laughs> and we're gonna see what Porter thinks of green beans. So I'll record him just so you guys can see his reaction. <laughs> Here we go. Food, so I expected it to be like that. I offered some to Grayson and he said no. <laughs> so we're gonna keep working on this, but yay! Good job, Porter! Say bye! Say bye! 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 